What's up, Serial Heads? Today I'm going to take the lazy way out. This past weekend was Thanksgiving weekend, and I just didn't feel like doing a whole new video about Serial. So what you're getting today is a clip show. Today we're going to take a trip down memory lane as I show you some of my favorite Serial commercials from the days of yore. So go ahead and sit back and enjoy some old commercials. First up, my favorite Fruity Pebbles commercial of all time. It's from the late 80s and it features Barney rapping. I had it memorized and used to go around doing this rap all the time. Check it out. You watch me get red Fruity Pebbles. Who are you? I'm the master rapper and I'm here to say I love Fruity Pebbles in a major way. He loves Fruity Pebbles in a major way. The bedrock yellow, orange, purple, lime, and red. But to get the fruity taste, I got a trick friend. <laughs> Fruita Rudy. <laughs> to get the fruity taste, he's got a trick friend. Barney. Just let's a rip. Most Fruity Pebbles cereal. Part of this nutritious breakfast. Yeah, but never delicious. Speaking of catchy songs or jingles, Here's an old Coco Krispies commercial that always got stuck in my head, featuring Coco the monkey. The Australian monkey appeared on boxes and ads back in the early 90s. Wherever I go with my Coco Krispies, I never know what's waiting for me. When I run across a slippery pair, we shake things up into the air. If chocolatey taste they think they'll get, but they're only gonna wind up getting wet. Oh yeah. Kellogg's Coco Krispies are such a chocolatey and delicious part of this complete Now, I've talked about the Honeycomb Hideout before, but I used to love these ads and always wanted a treehouse of my own. Here's a commercial featuring Andre the Giant that I used to love. Come on, you guys. It's only a little. A hungry giant. Hungry for a big honey dash. Big taste, honeycomb, big taste. In 1985, Captain Crunch had a campaign where Captain disappeared. They ran these ads of cartoon characters talking about the cereal. Eventually, it turned out that Captain Crunch was in the Milky Way, though I don't remember how we found that out. But I do remember this ad. The best thing about Captain Crunch cereal is the taste. It's the crunch. The taste. The crunch. Right, Captain? <gasps> I say it's the delicious golden sweet paste. No, Master, surely it's the crispy crunch. This is the captain. Mm. Captain? People really dig that crunchy beat. No, it's the taste that knocks them off their feet. Where'd he go? We've got to find the captain. But first, some of his cereal. Great taste. Great crunch. Captain Crunch is part of this balanced breakfast. Well, where did he go? Speaking of iconic mascots, do you remember when the Trix Rabbit actually got to try the cereal? Well, it happened two times before I was even born, once in 1976 and once in 1980. But I distinctly remember this other time in the early 90s when he finally got to try a bowl of Trix. I've tried everything. I'll never get to taste Trix with lime green pops. <laughs> Tour de Trix bicycle race. Winner receives silver bowl of Trix. The fruity, delicious part of a complete breakfast. Wow! So many people racing for tricks. They must realize that tricks with lime green is really fruity. Fire up! The Italians are in the lead, but the French are right behind them. I'll never catch them. Yeah! What a lift! Fruity tricks, I can taste it. Blah, blah. Yeah. Lemony yellow, here I come. Fruity orange, I'm halfway there. Grapefruity purple, they're slowing down. Raspberry red, I'm getting ahead. Their wheels are wheel, and the rabbit wins by his ears. Lime green, I'm the winning team. Well, kids. I say he gets it. I say he's a rabbit. Kids, you can decide. Does the rabbit get the silver bowl of tricks? We need your vote. Ballots on boxes of tricks. Please vote yes. Remember when the rabbit won the race? But does he get the tricks? The kids voted yes. Just this one. The rabbit wins the tricks. The fruity, delicious part of a complete breakfast. Wow. Lemony yellow. Orangey orange. Grapefruity purple. Raspberry red. And fly free! Oh, for me! Well, I'll never be the same. And while we're talking about mascots, Tony the Tiger has had dozens of campaigns for Frosted Flakes over the years. But in the early 80s, they did this ad campaign where adults hid in the shadows talking about how much they love Frosted Flakes. Frosted Flakes has a taste adults have grown to love. 
I'm 32 years old, and I love Kellogg's Frosted Flakes. Brave adults are coming forward to challenge the notion that Frosted Flakes is just a kid's cereal. I know there's a tiger in the box. I like the taste, okay? Because you love them as a kid doesn't mean you can't love them as an adult. One day, our neighbors saw the package on the table. And we don't even have children. With that extra crunch and milk, that frosting just right, that taste is great as ever. Well, they've always been my favorite. So dig in. Frosted Flakes have the taste adults have grown to love. They're great. Speaking of slogans and ad campaigns that I love, the Simple Corn Pops ad campaign of the early 90s was the best. They featured kids freaking out because they thought someone ate the last of their corn pops. The music builds and it gets tense and then boom, they get their cereal. Gotta have my pops. Hey, Turner, quit hogging the corn pops. Oops, all gone. No big deal. My Kellogg's corn pops all gone? Stay calm. You want something else? Nah. I want my corn pops. That's what I want. Like sweet popcorn, you always want more. And you two sleazoids who I invited to my house to spend the night and share my corn pops up nothing for me. <sighs> hey, Baker, there's plenty more. I was just pulling your chain. You think you fooled me? Kellogg's corn pops is part of this complete breakfast. I gotta have my pops. In the winter, we used to get tons of Christmas-related commercials. They sometimes would play the same ad every year around the same time. Here are a few of my favorites. There's a Kix ad that I remember seeing more than one Christmas, a Cinnamon Toast Crunch commercial featuring all three bakers, and then the classic Scrooge Honey Nut Cheerios commercial that used to play every year around Christmas. Hold the end of your string up, Joey. Joey. We're never going to get this done if you keep on eating the kicks. Kicks is a cereal that's low in sugar with a corn crunch that kids like. Kicks also makes a great decoration. So, how's it look? Delicious. Kicks, kid tested, mother approved. What can we leave for Santa? Cinnamon, those crunch. That's great. We sprinkle cinnamon and sugar for a homemade taste. Part of this complete breakfast. Happy the taste of nuts and honey, Mr. Scrooge. Yeah. Come back. Better things to do. Oh, Mr. Scrooge, Honey Nut Cheerios, it's Christmas. Make us three gruel will suffice, thank you. Yeah, but Honey Nut Cheerios blends golden honey and crunchy nuts. Uh, do you see honey and nuts? Merry Christmas, Mr. Scrooge. Okay, lastly, probably one of my favorite ad campaigns of all time. And I don't even know why. Maybe because it just took me so long to get my hands on these boxes of Lucky Charms. In 1985, they ran these ads where they added whale marshmallows to the mix. Here are four commercials from back in the day for this ad campaign in the order that they aired over about a year. Gotcha, Lucky! I'll make a parachute to the skate with the Lucky Charms. The crunchy old cereal with a rainbow of marshmallow surprises. Hearts, stars, moons, clovers, diamonds, and horseshoes are safe at last. Sharks! Look, the marshmallow colors are all swirled up. Swirled up in the cereal, too. Uh-oh, Lucky needs your help. You can find out how on boxes of swirled up Lucky Charms, part of this nutritious breakfast. Get me down. Remember Lucky and his swirled up Lucky Charms? He needs help. Oh, Mr. Ray. Yum! Look, the marshmallows are back to normal, but not the whale. Oh, that gives me a whale of an idea. To thank all you kids for helping me. Now there's a bonus pack of swirled marshmallows inside Lucky Charms. Extra marshmallows. Mmm. Lucky Charms. A delicious part of this nutritious breakfast. Mmm, they're magically delicious. In our last episode, Lucky met a swirled whale, but now, are they headed for a fall? Look out! The waterfall! All oh, those kids have to be Lucky Charms. That crunchy old cereal with a rainbow of marshmallow surprises. Hard stars, moons, clovers, diamonds, and horseshoes. Whoa! Wow, the whale is stuck in the rainbow! And yikes, there are whales in me cereal, too! Swirled whale marshmallows? You can see for yourself in boxes of Lucky Charms, part of this nutritious breakfast. Last time with Lucky Charms. Oh no! Stuck up here with a whale on me rainbow and swirled whale marshmallows in me cereal. Come on, let's get him down! Pull! Oh. Yikes! Oh, we made things worse! How long can it keep bouncing? And how long will it?
will there be swirled real marshmallows in Lucky Charms? That's still up in the air. But you kids can help Lucky and the Whale get down on boxes of Lucky Charms. Part of this nutritious breakfast. I think there was actually another one or two ads that followed this, but I can't find them anywhere. I don't remember how they resolved the whale problem and got those marshmallows out of the cereal. Anyway, that's all the commercials I got time for today. Maybe we'll talk about some more ads in the future. Are there any old commercials that are memorable to you? Thanks for watching. Until next time, stay crunchy. I'm Gabe Fonseca and I'm here to say I love cereal time in a major way. Cereal.